How's it hanging dudes? My name is Sean and welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 Cyberware Guide. This is our third one and I encourage you to see the other augmentations that we have already discussed. Keep in mind that these are simple videos and we cut right to the chase. That being said, make sure to remember that this is all based off of Cyberpunk 2020 source material created by Mike Pondsmith, so many of these augmentations may be changed, altered, excluded, added to, or brand new cyberware could be integrated. Nevertheless, we have developed a guide to follow, so this goes into detail on three main groups and I briefly explain each one of these groups and every type of augmentation that could possibly be in there um, in a different video. So, and it should shed light on what, um, what to expect and how we build our characters, right? So if you want to go check that out, feel free to do so. Anyway, let's do this dudes. In the dystopian world of the dark future of cyberpunk, neuralware is key. It provides a host of boosts and added effects, both passive and selective, and is especially useful when fine-tuning your shooting or melee skills. However, there are plenty of basic everyday uses that many citizens who have the eddies can take part in such as taste boost. Trust me, kibble will taste a lot better if you have this piece of neuroware. It does just what is implied, it makes everything taste better. There are plenty of non-harmful augmentations for the normal citizens of the world, this being one of them. We'll go through a lot of these um, as you know this future guide progresses. So just know that if you're not really into combat constantly and you like to roleplay a little bit, stuff like this might be cool. If the taste boost is in the game, you might go get a bowl of soup or something from a vendor and you might have um, just a little passive phrase that pops up where you might say this tastes a little bit better or maybe you get a certain kind of boost from eating a certain kind of food and if you have... Um, you know this taste boost maybe whatever skill gets increased by that food maybe you know it's increased a little bit more I don't know it's just a little speculation on my part but anyways taste booth is kind of tight taste boost excuse me kind of simple but I thought it was kind of cool just to throw on here and uh, anyways moving on to number two we have a body enhancement a weapon to be exact the bone spike seems simple and it's the only one we will cover but now imagine for a second you are grabbed from behind. An enemy wraps arms around you and you can't move, you are bound. The enemy's cohorts are coming to aid and keep you bound. They are scavs who have come to strip you of all your cyberware and leave you for dead. You can't reach your gun, what do you do? Luckily your ripper dock has just implanted the bone spike and up through your synth skin comes one or multiple sharp spikes. You now look like a porcupine having a bad day but hey, you know, the dude let go, right? So now you open fire. And like I said, it's simple, but it's really cool. And, uh, you know, it's it's like a must for sticky situations, right? <laughs> Is that a bad joke? Is that a bad joke? I don't know. Um, there's a lot of body enhancements. So I just decided to pick one today. Just because our next up on our list is fashion wear, and um, it's last but not least, but it is our augmentation of the day. Since skin and uh, is a fashion wear that I just brought up that uh, with the bone spike thing, right? So cosmetics are a huge part of this game, and added personal touches to character creation is key, and this game provides that. This is why synth skins are our main focus today. But what is a synth skin? In layman's terms, it's simply artificial skin. It is not clear whether your skin is completely replaced or in uh, or like with a biosynthetic clone of your own skin layer or most likely it's just simply nanotech doing its work once you have synth skin installed you can change color or pattern uh, which really sets you apart from the lower less cool simpletons of night city these are not to be confused with skin kims which simply change your skin tint usually people go with this cheap alternative first but the actual synth skin is much more versatile from installing synth skin chips for these extra patterns to the transparent skin or maybe you fancy the mood skin which changes based on your mood maybe you want to be a walking tv have no fear new tech tv skin allows you to do just that it turns your entire surface into a TV screen. You could be a walking billboard if you wanted to be. Now let's cut here. We see um, Lizzy Wizzy on her way to the Chrome Tour and the Chrome on her body you see is what we call Super Chrome, if I'm not mistaken. And it's not 100% certain if this is a variant of synth skin technology, seeing as it's in a different category in the source book, as, uh, as is real skin also, which is a covering of your exposed cyberware that looks identical to your own skin, right? The whole host of these different types of synth skins or variants that are sort of like synth skins 
So um, they can be used in a variety of ways and it, it makes you look cool up in your social status and clearly um, could be used as like a camouflage tactic as well. Perfect, perhaps you have like a, you know, you have to find a target and that target keeps switching up uh, its skin color. It just adds overall dynamics to your potential side missions. Um, giving you different options, giving you different ways to go through. Maybe you have to go get a different augmentation to be able to um, discern for yourself um, if a synth skin person is actually using a different color synth skin. You can't really tell because what happens if they don't really change it to like green or something like that and it's just maybe an Asian person who happens to switch their skin color to look African American, right? So there's so many different um, possibilities and it'd be so much harder um, if you're looking at it from a camouflage, um, you know, tactic right so I don't know and then also what if you're like a celebrity like Lizzy Wizzy and you know you're known for your chrome skin or something like that and then you have also have sin skin and you just change that up you can walk uh, amongst the regular citizens and nobody would ever would be none the wiser of who you are right so I don't know it's like if um but is there other technology that would uncover your sense skin people can see through that you know i mean i don't know i just think it's really cool to think about this this reason why i wanted to dedicate the bulk of the time to today's video for sense skin just because it's so cool and sense skin i've said a lot and it's hard to say so i'm gonna quit saying that all right guys so that's about all i got for you really i hope you do drop a like and let me know what else you want to see in these guys if you want to get caught up on the guides then there is like a whole playlist that i'll post at the end and i'm not gonna lie man since skins are like pretty epic i'm struggling to decide if i want the skin in game or like glowing tattoos like i wonder if um, they can be combined in any way oh man that's gonna be such a hard cosmetic decision oh goodness anyway i'm curious to hear what you guys think but if you uh, routinely stand on your head to drain the blood into your skull just to simply show the blood that it's not in control and that you run the show, then make sure you like and subscribe. And until next time, piss off. Two to the one, to the one to the three. I like good pussy and I like good trees. Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than a toilet seat. Three to the one, to the one to the three. I met a bad bitch last night in the D. Let me tell you how I made a leave with me. Conversation and hear the sea. I've been to the motherfucking mountain top. Heard motherfuckers talk.